I don't want to come across as hypocritical here because I myself am a divorced and remarried man and I understand better than anyone that sometimes things just don't work out. But if it wasn't for his holier-than-thou attitude using his Christian nationalist flag as a weapon to beat down those he declares to be mm-hmm. unchristian and immoral, mm-hmm. then these behind-the-scenes activities that people like Jeff Duncan, who basically thinks he's Deuce Bigelow, male gigolo, yes. uh, that, that's just too rich. Too yeah. rich not to comment on, point out, and he yeah. knows it, and somehow he's going to try to spin it. Yeah, I don't think that um, commenting on this is um, is in any form or fashion like derogatory as we speak on it since it's been made public. And the only thing I think that we're doing is we're pointing out that these are the same individuals. So Mr. Duncan is an individual who was, like you said, with the Christian flag, these are the right ways to go. And then this is what he was doing behind over years. So consider, and this goes back to, You know, being able to respect that woman over the years, you have mentally abused her by doing this over and over again and then standing before your constituents as if you might be better than any of them. 